we said this after season one, like someday we might outgrow this because we might actually start telling these stories and there might be more media coverage. And so I think we've outgrown it. And I think that so much of what we do with the Just Women Sports podcast, like we're going to apply to this new show. You're going to keep telling these compelling stories. You're going to keep unpacking, unpacking these journeys, having these one-to-one -one intimate conversations, but this rebrand lets us go bigger and lets us do more. And I think we should be pretty proud that what, two years in, we're like, okay, time to level up. Here we go. Welcome to a special edition of the Just Women Sports Podcast, where we usually talk to the biggest athletes in the world about the untold stories behind their success. I'm Kelly O'Hara, and today I'm talking with Haley Rosen, the founder and CEO of Just Women Sports, aka one of my many bosses. Uh, Haley and I are going to talk about NBSL off season, what's coming up in 2022 for JWS. And we've got a very special announcement we're excited to share with y'all. So um, Haley, welcome to the show. Thank you for having me, Kelly. It's good is to this be your, back. Is this your, yeah, is this second time we've done a little sit down or third? I mean, like that we've put out publicly. I think it might be the third, second. I don't know. I think second, I at least. At least second. Yeah. Third, definitely to get there chatting. And we still need to do, we still need to do your from start to finish or start to now. Flip Haley it on Rosen. You. No, life of Haley Rosen. How did you get here to just? Oh, no, no. We got to flip it on you. I'm excited for that one. Maybe one day. Um, all right. So again, you've been on the show a couple times before. How you doing? I just asked you before we got on, like, you ready for this? And you said you've been super busy. So what's what's been happening in the world of a CEO and the CEO of Just One Sports? Um, things have been good. You know, I feel like there's been, I mean, it's kind of crazy hopping back on the show with you because I feel like the first time we did this, like we were such a different company. It was such a different time. Women's sports was in a different spot. So it's crazy how much has changed and I'm kind of having that realization <laughs> right now. Um, I mean, we've grown so much, Kelly. Like when we were recording the first episodes of your podcast, there was like four of us on the Just Women's Sports team and we were yeah. hustling and fighting and grinding to make this a thing and build. And it's just been awesome to see where it's gone. And I think there's a lot of exciting stuff ahead for us in 2022. I think so. We've gotten to chat a little bit about what's coming down the pipe and um, I'm pumped to, to see what happens this year uh, for JWS. So well, keep grinding. Thanks, Kel. <laughs> you too. <laughs> and what about you? I mean, you just won an NWSL championship. We've talked forever about you wanting to go back home to the spirit. Like what, what's up in your world? Yeah. Um, again, busy as well, you know, <laughs> which is great. Feels really nice to be back with the team was a nice off season though. I will say, um, got to actually like have some downtime. I think I took a solid two total weeks off, did nothing, no working out, which was ideal. Oh, um, was that amazing? Did that feel good? Yeah. It's, but it's, it's messed up though, because even as, and I know I have to take time off. Like, I just know that your body needs that sort of thing, yeah. but as it's happening, I'm doing the math in my head. I'm like, how many days can I go without working out that it's going to be, you know, the amount of days I don't work out, how painful will it be when I start to work out again? You know, that's, that's what happens yeah. in my head every single day that I'm not like in season or training or whatever, which is silly, but, um, but yeah, no great off season. I became an aunt. My, um, my sister-in-law, my brother had their first child, which was super exciting. My yeah. sister got married to the best guy oh. ever. Um, yeah. So a lot of big family things for me, which was really nice. And I got to be there for all of them, which sometimes doesn't happen. Um, so yeah, no, but off season was great. And now we're into 2022. It just happened like that. And it's already off to a racing start. I know. Where did 2020 go? Like, I can't believe we're in 2022. <laughs> well, it's funny. It's like you, you, we talk about 
or you were just saying about how, when we started, when you started JWS, it was 2020, right? Like I was the first podcast, you guys had a team of four, um, and sports weren't really happening in the way that they typically do. And so I had obviously a lot of time and then 2021 came and I was like, Oh, this is so like, there's so much happening, so much going on. Um, and now it's already 2022 and I'm just like, this is, yeah, it's just, it's all happening very quickly. Yeah. Like to say the least. And I can't believe when you lay it all out like that, like you've had so much family stuff. Like I remember at the championship, I was with your parents and we were watching. Oh yeah. Your parents are so adorable. And your mom was so excited because your sister was getting married and you had a bun in the oven yeah, <laughs> the whole yeah. family. And yeah. like, it's just crazy that like married, you're an aunt, we're off and running. Like, oh my gosh, so much big stuff. Yeah, I could have really ruined the whole, like the nice trifecta of championship, wedding, baby yeah, totally. um, by not winning, but thankfully we did. So I think- Wait, can we talk about your goal? We still haven't talked about that. Uh, sure, we can talk about it. Tell me, walk me through it. Um, I was already cramping by like the 80th minute. So as I was moving towards moving up the field, I'm pretty sure I was just like, don't move too quickly because you're going to cramp. And, um, yeah, we, it was one, one, what, like 97th minute or something like that. And, um, I don't know. I just saw Trin like cut back, pick up her head, look to put it in the box or, you know, was just looking for something or someone. And, I started making a run because I saw open space and she put a great ball in there. And as I headed it, I remember being like, oh man, I remember seeing the keeper, you know, near post. And I was like, dang, I feel like she's going to get her hands on this. And then as I'm falling backwards, I see the ball hit the back of the net. And I was just like, oh my <laughs> God, like what just happened? And you like see me trip and fall and like turn out. And that's what I'm freaking out. Cause I'm just like, was I on side? I know I was on side. I came from so <laughs> deep. Like I, we just, we just scored. We're, we're up two one. one. We're like, we have a chance to win this thing. It was wild. So, um, and I scored like what I didn't score all year. And then I scored <laughs> in the championship, just silly, but, um, yeah, super, super exciting. Hope to repeat this year. I'm really excited about spirit. Um, you know, we have a, we have a great team and core group of players. So big, things hopefully happening again yeah yeah that was a really fun moment as a fan because the whole stadium went crazy like I'm sure you heard it on the field but it was like a this you can feel the energy it was cool <laughs> it was super cool it was cool I feel like Louisville did a really good job of um putting on the final so I I enjoyed it as a player but speaking of other big things. Mm -hmm. um, Let's get to the good stuff. The reason I have you on the podcast today is we are officially retiring the Just Women Sports podcast name. And in its place, we're relaunching as the Players Pod, which, woo! Woo! which I love. <laughs> um, it's a new name for an expanded show. I know we both kind of want to talk about the decision behind this rebrand. So why don't you first start by talking about the original inspiration behind the Just Women Sports podcast and how it's grown since then? Yeah, I think, you know, the whole idea with this podcast was to tell the untold stories. And maybe you heard of the names or you knew the highlights of the story, but you didn't really know. You didn't know what was going on behind the scenes. You didn't know the ups and the downs. And, you know, it's the whole problem in women's sports. There's not enough storytelling. It's that 3% of sports coverage. And I think we've been doing that. And I think it's been awesome. And I love this show. I love hearing about everything that's happening in the space. I feel like I learned so much about these athletes and who they are and what makes them tick. And I think you're a really good host, which we've talked about. And I don't know if we want to talk about it now, but early days of Just Women's Sports recording, there was <laughs> multiple messaging in the Google Docs during the recordings and all of that. Um, but no, I think, I think it's been awesome. And, you know, it's talking with the biggest athletes in the world about the untold stories behind their success. You know, that's the tagline and the formula for the show. And I think for us, we said this after season one, like someday we might outgrow this because we might actually start telling these stories and there might be more media coverage. And so 
I think we've outgrown it. And I think that so much of what we do with the Just Women Sports podcast, like we're going to apply to this new show. You're going to keep telling these compelling stories. You're going to keep unpacking, unpacking these journeys, having these one-to-one -one intimate conversations. But this rebrand lets us go bigger and lets us do more. And I think we should be pretty proud that what, two years in, we're like, okay, time to level up. Here we go. Yeah, it definitely is exciting. And again, like you said, we, we started this and even, even before I think we recorded our first episode of season one, we had, we had talked about how I would really love, obviously I wanted to sit down with all these athletes and have these conversations and hear their stories. And I still love that. And we're obviously still going to do that. Um, and it's one of my favorite, favorite things to do, but I've always wanted to be able to bring in more than just athletes, more than just the players. Um, yeah. even though I'm a player and I love having that one-on-one -on -one conversation, I wanted to be able to bring in other people in the space of women's sports, you know, GMs, presidents, investors, coaches, you know, more retired athletes, those sorts of people and figures, because I think that all of those stories make up women's sports. And um, I feel like with this, this new rebrand and, and launching this new pod, the players pod, I think we'll be able, or, and I know we'll be able to, to bring in um, all those different types of people, which I'm really excited about. I'm really excited too. And you've wanted that from the start and we were always really focused on athletes. So I'm excited to it's like, let you do your thing. And I think it's going to be, I think it's gonna be awesome. I'm pretty stoked about it. Are you sad? We're saying bye to the just women sports podcast name. I kind of am. Are you, <laughs> I am a little bit too. I have yeah. like I have the poster that Jesse made of season yeah. one and two with all the athletes, which was like, I have that framed now. And I, I think it just looks so cool. It's, it's incredible to look back on who I've been able to talk to. Even one of my friends yesterday texted me and was like, are you so stoked on the Olympics? And I was like, and I was like, you mean like watching it or like in 2024, which one are you talking about? Yeah. And she's like, just watching winter Olympics. Cause you've talked to so many of these athletes. And I was like, I definitely feel more invested. And I, and I know so much more about them than I did before. And so it's just, it's kind of crazy to look back to see all the people that I've been able to talk to, but there's so many more out there. And I'm, there's so many stories that I want to like dig into and, and categories I want to cover that, you know, we'll be able to now. Yeah. And I think this sort of rebrand lets us check back in on people we've interviewed because oh, true, yeah. what happened in these stories. And so I think it just gives more flexibility. So I'm just, yeah, no, but I feel the same way too. Like watching a lot of these athletes, like in the winter Olympics or in their professional leagues or whatever, like, you know, I wasn't talking to them one-on-one, -on -one, but I'm a fan of the show. I listen to the episodes and stuff. And it's like, you feel like you get a sense of their energy. And I just give you so much credit for that, Kelly. And like, I've said this to you privately, but I'll say it on the pod, like we're super grateful for you and everything you've done for just women's sports. And you took a huge chance on us, you know, with this show. And I remember calling you and pitching you on it. And you were like, who are you? <laughs> well, you took a chance on me and I'm so thankful for, for you specifically, but also what you've created in just women's sports and the, the platform that you've built here, not just with, you know, my podcast, but there's multiple under just women sports. Now, you know, the, all the coverage that you give the newsletter newsletter is one of my favorite things to receive in my inbox. Um, so yeah, I just, I think that you have absolutely crushed it. You've done so many things that in that original conversation, that initial conversation we had on the phone about what you wanted with just women sports. And even having, we touched base a couple of weeks ago about what you see for the company and the brand moving forward for this year. And I know that you're going to knock it out of the park. So Kel. congrats to you. I'm proud of you, girl. Kel, it's making me uncomfortable you being this Why? nice. <laughs> what do you mean? Okay, just so everybody knows this, Haley's always like, why are you being nice? Why are you being nice today? I'm like, Haley, I'm always nice to you. What are you talking about? She thinks I'm mean. Nice. Say that, tell people that I'm not actually mean. Don't bully me into telling oh, people Oh, my. <laughs> No, oh, Kelly, man. very nice. Very nice. <laughs> no, no, you are sweet. You are sweet. I feel like we just, I don't know. We're buddies. It's like we, we have these moments where we're like, I love you. <laughs> like, I okay, know. let's go back to just chilling. <laughs> we, yeah, we have, we have had 
it's funny. I, I do. I consider you a, a good friend now. So yeah, you're invited to my wedding. I am. And That's also come. up on the wall. Um, I, well, can you, uh, can I move also, it for your soccer? Yeah, school? Exactly. Oh, no, Kelly. <laughs> That's what I, said. I asked her to move her wedding. I'm just kidding. I didn't like actually mean it. And this is I why I say, you, uh, this is why I'm surprised when you're nice. <laughs> I'm All kidding. Right. I'm kidding. Okay, let's All get to right. the point. Let's wrap All this right. up. All right. Tell so. you, you're amazing. We're excited. And this is just the start. And thank you for everything. Thank you to the listeners who have tuned in and made this all possible. And like, I think we're stoked to just deliver something bigger and better. Yeah, I'm pumped. The Players Pod is coming in hot. So make sure you guys hit the subscribe button um, and tune in. Thanks for being along with this journey with us so far. And it's only going to get better from here, guys. Players pod. Woo! Players pod. Woo! <laughs>